Hello and welcome, this is Siobhan, the Celtic Empath aka Morgana Speaks and today um, I want to thank you very much for being here and for finding my channel and so I'm going to get straight into it today. I really just wanted to talk briefly about the power of knowledge and the power of books and in the past year in, there's been three, three books. So over the past number of years there's been a lot of books um, on my reading list and I think I even published my top uh, 20 books that I read last year for I think it was what 2018 or 2019 list and I have still more books to add to that list. Um, I use my local library I have to say it's a great resource and I would highly recommend going to your, to your library to get out some of these books because it can add up if you're constantly having trying to keep up with the latest published books. There's so many books being published now and I have to say that what's the point in buying them online? You're going to read them and then the majority of books maybe you're going to read them once at the most read them twice or dip in and out of it and then maybe give it to a friend or it's sitting on the shelf for ages before you do anything else with it or decide to finally give it away. So I kind of have a core uh, bookshelf of books that I keep that I've collected over the years. A lot of really good books that I love and that I've also given away to people um, only to find out of course what happens when you give a book away it doesn't return to you but that's okay. So there's a lot of great books that are not in my core bookshelf that I wish were there but they're not at the moment. But in saying that in the past few years there's been a number of books that are a stable part of my my core books that I use and that I like to dip in and out of and I have three books today that have been really important um, and the three of them are really very different as well that's the thing so there's a lot of variety and there's a lot of knowledge and there's so many books out there and I love reading books and I love um, getting knowledge as well so if you're like me um, you might be interested in these recommendations. So my first book really that I has been so important to me in the past few years as a parent, this is a parenting book, not so much a book about spirituality or about crystals or about anything else, but this is uh, by Dr. Shefali Taysbury and she has been endorsed by the Dalai Lama and of course by Oprah, Oprah Winfrey and her book is called The Conscious Parent and this was published maybe three to four years ago now at this stage and I only came across of course because she was on Oprah's reading list The Conscious Parent and I heard her being interviewed and so I was really impressed by her when I heard her speaking about conscious parenting and it's something that I'm really interested in being a parent and she has really really articulated incredibly well um, a, a more developed, a newer, more evolved way and in some ways maybe going back to very very basics as well in parenting, stripping back a lot of stuff and taking things back to the fundamentals of just connecting um, with your child and also on how to speak to them and how to connect with a child on their level. So that was a book that I really love. Uh, as I say, it's something that I dip in and out of all the time because I find it to be a really useful guide. After that, I'm big into natural health and natural healing. And that has been something oh, since the late 1990s that I have followed a path on. And when I say that, I say that I don't rely, and this is personally myself, this isn't necessarily any recommendation that I'm giving to people, but myself, I don't generally go to doctors, I generally don't um, take antibiotics. I haven't taken an antibiotic in more than 20 years for and that the last time that was for a kidney infection and that was more than 20 years ago ever since then i have been using natural medicines mainly homeopathy and herbal medicine and using herbal teas 
and trying to maintain a relatively healthy diet and whatnot um, over the past 20 or so or more years at this stage. So the book that I have found to be, um, I suppose, highly influential for me is Alfred Vogel, The Nature Doctor. And this book is an incredible wealth of information. Alfred Vogel was an Austrian slash Swiss, no, Switzerland, he was from Switzerland. Um, and he was an, an amazing naturopathic doctor and he had an incredible connection with um, herbal medicine. And he came up with his own brand, the which is the Vogel Herbal brand. Um, and it's, it's quite a well-known brand, so if you're into herbal medicine, you were probably aware of the Vogel medicines or the Vogel herbs. And he also has his own flower remedies too. But in this book, um, it's literally a, a composite guide, A to Z, of absolutely anything and everything that you can think of is in this book. Um, so whatever it is, problems for, with your feet, your toes, any way up along, the whole way up to the, the ends of your hair, literally. He has got guidelines, information, nutritional health and herbal uh, and homeopathic remedies, the natural way as well. So that is my number two, this book. I would be lost without it. I will never not have an edition of this with me in my home. This, this is something that I will have when I'm an old lady. Um, I won't say with greying hair because my hair is already greying, but uh, when I have a full head of grey hair, I will still be using this book. So thank you, um, Alfred, for that. And my last book, completely different, is The Artist's Way, yay, by Julia Cameron. So again, completely different uh, book. This is about journaling. I did a video previously about journaling and the positive benefits of it. Um, but this is for people who, um, who might feel that they have some potential creativity locked inside of them or they are struggling artists and they're you're trying to make your way, you're trying to connect and you're trying to get that um, creativity out of you but you feel like you might be blocked or that or you're just stunted or that you just can't seem to um, make the proper sort of headways with your, your creative life that you want. Um, and you don't have to be as per se an artist. I mean, art and creativity can apply to all areas of our lives. So even if you're trying to create and design your perfect ideal lifestyle and career, this book is still going to help you out immensely in creating and designing something. But what it does is it unblocks a lot of the stuff it helps you to work your way through things. So I would highly recommend this book as well. Again, this is something that I've only actually come across it maybe about four years ago. And I use the processes in it. And there is like a whole process that goes on up to 12 weeks. And it's great if you can stick with it and finish it right to the very end. Um, but definitely I have been allowed or allowed myself to be more creative or to find a way to express creativity from doing this book. Um, so I can actually, I can feel another term coming on for me with Julia Cameron's The Artist's Way again. But hopefully you found that helpful and remember that information and knowledge is everything once you have of course the right information but discernment is also key. So like I say, over the years I've given away so many books and never gotten them back. And uh, That could be a good thing or a bad thing. It may mean the person may have read my books. Um, not a lot of people come back to me with the same enthusiasm or passion or reviews to me over the years with the books. Um, but in saying that, if the book is helpful to me, I know it's going to be helpful to someone else. At whatever stage in your life that you come across these books, and that's the thing about books and knowledge and information and education is that it will find you right at the right time when you're open to receiving it or when you really need or can take in that information that's in the book. And actually, sometimes information can come to us a bit prematurely when we're not really ready for it or when we're afraid of it or scared of it because it can have a lot of power 
in helping us to move on and change our lives and change our internal lives. So, and that has happened as well with other books. To me, I've had books that I literally carried around with me for years, moving from house to house. And I knew there was important information in the books, but just couldn't bring myself to read them. Um, but at the same time, eventually, years later, I actually did follow up on some of those books. And I kind of had wished that I had the courage to read them when I had first come across them because they would have been insightful. But in saying that, I when I when I did have those books in the early days, I wasn't I don't think I would have been able to really access the wisdom that was in it. So when I did finally read them, this particular book, um, which I may talk about at another stage, but I was older, more mature and more open to actually taking in the information. And it was like the time had come, so I was ready for it. So I'm wishing and hoping that the information perhaps here today or in these books may also give you some kind of insight or help you to look at other aspects or other ideas of um, taking care of yourself either through natural health care and remedies and that there's great support and information out there for that as well and then for our creative sides that there is um, a lot of unique processes that have been developed by people that have come before us and when we're ready to tap into it we will so it's all there for us and the conscious parenting I can't wait for that to take off I really can't because I think we're badly in need of it and if conscious a conscious parent hopefully will mean a conscious child um, in order to hopefully develop more conscious living and a conscious world so that's my hope coming out of this video today thank you for watching and listening and I thank you for finding my channel and all I can say is blessings to you